observatory log number one. Again, digging to try to level off the area before doing the pier in the ground, which will be right at the front of that chair there, I believe. And the entire digging area is 15 by 15, but the deck will be at 12 by 12, and the dome on top of that. Have to level out that side, but this gives us a good view of the uh, east, south, and a tad on the west for things like Venus at certain times of the year. And then to the north for Polaris, Andromeda, and other targets. That'll be quite good. And some nice views of aliens, too. Alright, another edition of the observatory log here, uh, construction. Uh, we scooped everything out, made everything level, lots of excess dirt, trying to get rid of some of it into the garden. Measured out the 12 by 12 section, crossed, hatched to the middle where the pier will go. And as we can see here, that is a 2 foot by 2 foot square that has to be dug down four feet past the frost line and uh, up to about 14 inches above the ground to where the deck surface will be and from there up will be a pier portion of it which will be 12 inch probably a sauna tube or PVC pipe going up about 43 inches above the deck. There. All right, this is the log for the building, the observatory. Had to run um, power line. I also ran a new line over to there to fix a 10-2 problem. It should have been 10-3 to that sub-panel. The observatory line is going to come straight from the main and go up the field here to the location. Used a trencher from local Ace Stanford Hardware. I think it was about 150 for four hours of use. They delivered it too. Got down 24 inches in most spots. Now I've already laid down the 10-3 uh, with the ground, covered it up with dirt, and put the tape down, the caution tape. Well, technically that should be on the top, but I'm gonna have this one and a half inch pipe on top for the data. Three gigabit ethernet cables inside and one security cam wire for the camera that will sit up on top of that post there and everything will come to this corner and then go under the joists or under the floor and we're almost ready for the pier we're waiting on the local fabrication to finish the lower plate fabrication to connect to the top plate keeping the ioptron plate two-piece solution about four inches tall. We'll have a pier come up out of the ground, have the cement be about four inches, two to four inches, and then the 10-inch PVC pipe will come up from there to a height of around 39 inches, I believe it was, off the deck. And that will put the declination and right ascension crosshairs right at 53 on the dome rotation, which is where it's supposed to be. Or a little shorter if you need more height for longer scopes, which I still might shorten that slightly. I haven't decided yet. There you go. We're on some Cat 6 right now. All right, here's a video update. Hasn't been done in a while. That's the electric run after everything has been filled back in not long ago. When we come up here, take a look at where everything has ended up. Got my big data pipe there on the right that I'm going to run diagonally under the floorboards to the back end of where the dome will be. And the other one of course is electrical. I use UFB cable on the uh, underneath the boards too. Well, uh, probably going to the center and then branching off the center. I'm thinking I'm going to put the panel, sub-panel on the pier but not completely certain yet. I mapped out the outer circle 86 inches across for where the dome would be and as you can see it's pretty tight with that 10 inch pier in the middle uh, that's what you got about 43 inches from dead center or 38 from the edge of the pier everything has been poured the concrete came on Saturday truck came in delivered it it was pretty easy like five wheelbarrow fulls had it already on top of the hole with a rebar down the center that I made Four, four post rebar, use some chicken wire to tie it together. 
Uh, that comes all the way up three quarters through the tube, all the way down 43 inches under the ground. And it took about an hour to fill that up with 0.6 yards of concrete. And this is day two, day three. I'll take the supports off and after two weeks I'll try putting the mount CM120 on top and see how that looks. So that's where things are at as of right now. A better view over here of the dome perimeter for the next dome. Here's my pipe. Yeah, right into the supposed bay area. Come up through the floor there for the data. Hopefully that's close. Run the electric similar. Here's a look at what's been done so far. Got the deck boards on here, boxed in the pier, and then I began running the pipe, or nearly finished running the pipe for the various connections. Uh, right down here, that's a power coming up out of there and going back over to right about there where I don't have the other 90 on yet for that spot. That'll go to the main breaker area. And then here's a data pipe right here, which will come up through, I'll put an extension on that, come up through the floor and it goes back to there, to the back of the bay. This this whole area back here is should be the bay area right back in here, one of them. And there'll be three holes coming up through the floor there. And over here, I have a power which runs from the sub panel in that bay over there. And I, I got the wire protected so nothing eats it. And he'll come out in that other bay there to this bay, which is over here. Well, this bay, which is actually, it's more like right here, I think, for that one. All right, observatory update here. I've now got the entire deck done. I skipped a few scenes from the last time I did the video, but here's the next dome circle where it would be. I have the mount on now. Get a closer look at that there. Fabricated plate in the middle there and the standoffs. And then down here I created two hatches uh, where you can, uh, where I'll be able to put DC 12 volt plugs down in there and there's a hole cut towards the pier to allow the passage of cables and air to. And I tried a mat that I found at the store. It didn't quite work. It fell apart when I cut it and tried to slide it down over top to cover up the hole around the pier. But I think I'm just going to take the three quarter inch floor mats that I'm going to use and just cut them right up against it with some bug netting around it or maybe some foam stuffed in the, that opening there. It should be fine, I think. Getting these wire pipes in here were a bit of a pain and I may have screwed up. I have two data ports that might be at the edge of where the bay might be. That remains to be seen. If they are, I'll re-drill inside the bay a hole and then I'll put some flexible cable around the data cables and come up under and back up. I mean, right here, this is the main 10 3 that'll go to a, a, a sub panel, and this is the this is the uh, 12 2 wiring here, and that goes across to there to the uh, pier where I'll have an outlet over there, probably a power surge protector on there. And the data comes from here over to there. And then the main data, of course, comes down underneath here and all the way back to the house. And then there's the other 12-2 wiring for outlets here. And it goes over to there. And here's the uh, current situation. There were the original plans for the bays. There's the west. There's my south. Of course, there's my lovely east. Most viewing occurs in here or above the bowling alley. And there's where the counterweight shaft is and moves back and forth. And so there's the original spots for the bays. I want to move that bay over to there for the laptop. Or I was thinking putting it on this side. 
I don't know which is worse for the light from the lap or from the what will be an LCD screen actually not a laptop screen left side right side I'm gonna probably go with that side I already ran a wire to here it's out in the middle of nowhere if that's really the bay so I'm not sure what the best route is for that maybe on the inner side of the wall along the wall base so I don't have to pull up all these boards and drill another hole and then over here is the biggest problem this bay which now needs to move at the very least to where my foot is and over give it a little more out of the way from the uh, counterweight uh, I would probably put a chest with all my high pieces over here in this bay I think this is the build log again here just trying to check and see if everything is in order here the video is worth a thousand words there's a circle for the the next dome still trying to figure out where I'm gonna actually put the computer bay which for the LCD but anyways Here's the Edge 11 that I have going on on the CEM120 mount. And this is the imaging drive train so far. I have the ASI 294MC Pro here, then the spacers to give it the right 146 millimeter distance, and a 46 adapter, T46, there connected directly into that, and the reducer in front of that. Um, and then up here we've got I have the uh, DO controller up here. I have the 290mm Mini and then the SV Boney 60mm uh, guide scope for guiding Hyperstar. Having some problems with that right now, at least in PhD, losing its connection. Trying to figure that out. Uh, then we have the shield which I'll end up cutting in half probably inside the next dome to give it uh, have enough space for it to just be a light shield. I have everything tied down wire wise so there's nothing flopping around at least I thought I did. Kind of get a look at that and this was a bit of a mess I couldn't find anything shorter for the USB 3 cables and the only thing I have extra here is this uh, eyepiece for optical, this uh, dew strap. I have everything going through here, USB 2.0s on the left, and then there's a USB 3 over there on the right coming from the main input panel here, which go down through the subfloor uh, to the mini PC, which will be attached to the uh, pier here soon, next week or two. And I have both weights on here, and then coming around this side, I have the uh, ADM adapter with 3.7 pounds of front weight added. This whole thing right now is about 45 pounds of payload. That's what I came up with. Uh, that's the Celestron focuser motor there, connected by USB. And next I'll take the scope and uh, show that it's in balance, at least I thought it was. Okay. Alright, so now I'm taking the RA access. I'm going to uh, see here it's balanced. There's one position, hands are off. Try another. Hands off again. Appears to be okay. Now I'll lock it at this 90 degree spot. Roughly, and now we'll do the DEC unlocking him. This is where I had to add all the extra weight to get this in balance. Letting go, rebalance there, mostly balanced there, maybe slightly top heavy. All right, here's an update on the uh, dome. Everything's in place. This is a nighttime shot here, obviously. Uh, we're going to go in and see. I've just completed the flooring. It was very tricky to get everything perfect since it was round along the edges, but I seem to have done that, as you can see there. Center, I, I started from the center and worked my way out. That was the trick to doing all this. Bays are completely intact with uh, flooring now. Look at that. A few imperfections near the edges, but did uh, the best I could there. Um, over there. Back here in the middle. And on 
them wires coming up through there. So, all right. That's the door. And he's caulking all around the outside. PL Max Premium. And PL Max Premium 3X on the inside. And I'm going to work on foaming the walls next with the thinner foam to see if that helps with the humidity. If not, either a full blown fan or the dehumidifier in here 24 7. Alright, um, we're going to give this a shot here, opening and closing. Well, what I've done is on the back right wheel, I had to loosen it pretty much. They all have three washers on them now on the back. This back right one gave me grief. Retention bracket on the left side gave me grief. Both of those have been cut down by more than a half inch, the offsets, the white pieces. One of them, I cut off uh, at least half of it and now it closed successfully with no issues at least the last run now i'm going to try it again i'm going to open her up i'm going to go to the software here i have the ascom dome control panel and the next next dome ascom server ready you can see the position and all that there i'm going to hit open and away we go i'm using default ascom values as of now I don't need this light. You hear that thump as it clears that second panel with that band in the middle. It popped more before, but I seem to have smoothed it out. I did put the the slick tape on both sides on the undersides it only helped marginally I'm not convinced that was really the solution almost to zenith all right now look at the software what we got here 100 percent come over here you can use either one of these obviously to hit close but this one close now the sticking point is usually somewhere about here it also shutters a bit right about there back in close down I think we're home free. Only took 17,000 cuts on those offsets. Here it comes. I won't truly consider it a success till I've done this at least 10 times without it sticking and maybe in 10 different temperatures too. To be safe for full automation from remote. I'm still not quite happy with that final position there. I want to probably raise up that left magnet on the top so it'll come down just a hair more. Uh, but that's it, and it does click on over here successfully as I rotate. I hit, I put the wires down underneath. That's my parking position to the south at 229 degrees southwest. And uh, I think we're successful here.